And the man who put the chip in Chippendale. Good morning to you, Nathan. <laughs> Good morning, Mike. Once again. <laughs> <laughs> now. Facebook has been in the news a lot. Yes, it's, it's, uh, it's almost like, yeah, I feel like almost every week, but we all use it a lot, so I, I guess people want to talk about it. There's a thing called the smartphone. Yes, which yes. Which to me is every phone, because phones, I think, are pretty smart. Yes. But the two are being combined to become the words Facebook smartphone. Yes. It's uh, just rumours through a bunch of reports, but it looks like pretty strong speculation because Facebook have been recruiting mobile phone engineers. But this would come, it seem, in a response to Google buying Motorola. Mm-hmm. Facebook could be launching a smartphone as early as uh, early next year. The whole idea behind this from Facebook, they want to be more profitable. This would incorporate the user experience and users are using Facebook from as soon as they turn on their phone. So everything is Facebook oriented and, and updates and messaging and all of that. It's running through Facebook, not just something they log into and use. It's something that's in, in the core of the phone and, and that would be the idea behind it. Next you have LG, which life uh, good. Yes. Five inch, about that long. Yes. 1080p screen. What does that mean? LG, it's 1080p. So you may have heard of it. If, uh, Is that by- like 10 pounds, 80 pence? No. Uh, n- not quite, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's a little bit before my time. Um, but no, it's 1080p is 1080 pixels. Okay. So it's more common to hear about it in terms of large screen TVs. So think large screen TV packed into a five inch screen. Wow. So rather than 55 inch, it's five inch. They've announced this development and expect to see it in phones towards the end of this year. Basically, it's 1920 times 1080 pixels, 1920 long and 1080 high. And the thing that makes this unique is the density, which gives the clarity of picture. So this has got 440 pixels per inch as opposed to the iPhone 4 and 4S, which have the retina display we might have heard of, which kind of set the standard for displays. They're 330 pixels per inch, so this is 33% more dense. Now, the wonders of the movie world and science fiction may become reality. That's right. Leap Motion. Leap Motion. So, for the fans of the Tom Cruise movie from a few years ago, Minority Report, or I'm a bit of a fan of Iron Man and then Iron Man 2, uh, Tony Stark, both of them waving their hands around and controlling graphics and screens with their fingers. So, Leap Motion have developed this device. It's a startup company, mm-hmm. but they've got a video online. We'll post a link for that. They've got physical products, so it's not just a concept video. It's actually been tested and reviewed, and they're hoping to release it towards and December or possibly January. Mm-hmm. The thing that makes this unique is it's all about controlling your computer screen. It's a device about the size of an iPod. It'll sit between you and your computer screen, and it measures a space of eight cubic feet. And so you're waving your hands and your fingers around. And the thing that makes this unique compared to the likes of Connect for Xbox that Microsoft brought out that is the accuracy of it. They claim it's 200 times more accurate than anything else available and can track your movements up to one one hundredth of a millimeter. That's insane. So you, you've got your fingers and your hands out in front of you and wa- waving them around and it's really precise so you can sign and you can design graphics and, and write on the screen. In essence, bringing a, a touch screen but 3D kind of immersive depth of yep. field to any computer. The Wii yeah. system would be shaking in its boots. Yes, yes. So this would be just incredibly more precise than what you get on the on the Wii. And it's affordable as well. It's only going to be $70 as opposed to Microsoft brought out Connect for PCs in the US at $250. Nathan, as always, thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you again, Mike. It's easy with Gadget Coach.